Great minds think alike. Wrong! Great minds think for themselves. Like John Muir. In the 19th century, America's appetite for progress was big. And it kept getting bigger. Most people saw the wilderness as something in the way of progress. They didn't have forest rangers. They had forest rearrangers. Trees, 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 down, 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 homes, homes, homes. We're saying man versus nature, and I've seen man get in nature's good shape. But John Muir had different ideas. A gentleman who believed that when it comes to nature, our motto should be to protect and conserve. Muir was almost blinded by an industrial accident. I've had an epiphany. Oopsie daisy, we better change the sheets then. No, no. He means that he realized something. Now that I could see again, I want to spend my life looking at the wonders of nature. He's gonna be nature's greatest champion. Let's get, get ready to humble. How the destructive potential of the Industrial Revolution just took a swipe at the conservationist John Muir. Muir is fighting every way he knows how, writing articles, giving lectures, even making friends with President Teddy Boom Boom Roosevelt. We have a winner! So happy campers, John Muir was instrumental in the creation of our National Park Service. He knew that great minds think for themselves. Go on, take a hike. Visit your local library and the Library of Congress website, www.loc.gov.